What happened in this episode happened very quickly. Nothing happened. This episode was on the boring side, and nothing happened until the last 30 seconds of the entire episode. This episode started off with Subaru waking up in Emilia's house. He met some uh, maid girls. After he met some maid girls, he met a girl in a library or something when he opened up a random door because he kept walking around the house and he kept ending up back at his, at his room that he woke up in. So he was like, oh, this is a looping like hallway or something to where it's just one circle. You can't go towards the end because there is no end. So then he found that girl, talked to that girl. It didn't matter. Then um, after that, he met up with Amelia. Him and Amelia went to uh, like this brunch of breakfast or whatever it was, where they were gonna meet the Lord of the house. The Lord of the house is like some type of magician or something or something. I forgot what he was. Then, then we find out that Amelia is like one of the people that's um, next in line to become like ruler of that entire country that they're in. And the, uh, what's, what lets her know that she is next in line is that insignia that she had. And like, if you lose that insignia, you cannot be the next person in line and stuff, which which was stupid. And Subaru said, hey man, this is dumb. Like, why in the world would um, like the whole like title of being ruler of country be based on you losing an insignia? And that's freaking stupid. And then the magician guy, he was the lord of the house. I'm gonna call him the lord of the house. He was like, well, that proves that like you have the, uh, the go-getter attitude and uh, the, the will to want to become ruler of, of the next, uh, ruler of this country and you won't mess up because you didn't lose this insignia or whatever. And then he was like, but what if it gets stolen? And he's like, well, that's just, hey, that's just what it is and stuff. So then after that, freaking Subaru becomes a butler, then he starts doing chores, then he cuts himself by trying to cut up some potatoes in the freaking kitchen, which he don't know how to do. He keeps trying to cut it like this towards himself, and he, he put his thumb on the top of the potato, and he keeps trying to cut it like this. And he, I'm gonna show you with like this ball and my comb that I had. This is a comb that I had when I like had a fro and stuff. But he keeps trying to cut it like this, and his thumb is like on the top of the potato. So he keeps cutting his fingers like bad and stuff. And he needs to cut it like this. Like turn it and cut it like this. You gotta hold your thumb on it and cut it like that for y'all who don't know how to cut potatoes. And that's what those butler girls had told him. That was in those maid girls, that's what they had told him, but he ain't listen. And then after he got doing some chores, it was nighttime, so then him and freaking Amelia went outside and they started talking about a whole bunch of crap, talking about how they gonna have a date the next day and stuff, and how it's gonna be awesome and, then, and all that crap. And mainly that was just set up for the last 30 seconds. Now, this is what I wanna talk about. The last 30 seconds of the episode, he go to bed. And he try, he can't really go to bed because he's so excited to hang out with Amelia the next day on their date and stuff. But he eventually go to sleep and when he wake up, he wake up in a different room. And it's the same room he woke up in because he went to sleep in a different room, but he woke up in the same room that he was in at the beginning of this episode. So when he woke up, he saw those two butler girls and then uh, they had said something. He was like, ah, oh, what y'all talking about? Y'all being stupid or whatever. Because they built a relationship this whole entire episode. But then those butler girls was like, hold on, our guest is being rude. Why is our guest being rude and stuff? And then he goes, huh? What y'all talking about? And then he looks at his hands because his hands, again, was cut up because he had to do a whole bunch of chores that uh, put blisters and stuff on his hands and he cut his hands up trying to cut potatoes. And then all the blisters and everything was gone. So then he was like, bro, what the heck is going on? I was like, what? Yo, so that means that he revived himself, meaning he went back in time and started a new day and he didn't even die. Like, what the heck was that about? Like, I don't know what's going on, man. That just threw me for a loop. When I saw that, that threw me for a complete loop. I'm like, okay, now, can he survive a full day in this whole entire um, uh, series or whatever? He can't survive. He can't survive a full day because when he uh, went to go stop um, an old uh, felt and an old man and uh, Emilia from getting killed by that psycho girl. That was one day, and then the next day was him waking up in the um, 
was him waking up in the uh, mansion and stuff. So, what in the world was that about? Like, I'm not sure was that, what, what was that about, man? Does it, is it like if he gets hurt, like at all, he immediately goes back in time? Is that what that is? Because when he got hurt, when he got hurt and slashed in the stomach last episode, Emilia healed him before the day was over. So, and then she brought him back to her mansion and stuff. So I was like, okay, um, I'm thinking that if he gets hurt and he goes to sleep while he's, um, not goes to sleep, but a new day starts while he's hurt, that means he's gonna go back in time to where he's not hurt. Like, it's gonna completely reset and put up back in time to where he ain't hurt, and then it's gonna start completely over and stuff. I was like, wow, that, that ending was pretty cool, man. Like, I like that ending. But the whole entire episode was crap. It didn't matter, it was stupid. Um, it wasn't stupid, it just was boring. Like, nothing happened except the end of the episode. And the only setup for the end was like the last, it was like the last minute of the episode was the setup for the end of the episode. And that was it. Like for real, man. This episode I did probably, dang man, if the whole episode was like that ending, it probably would have got an 8, an 8.5 out of 10. But the whole entire episode, you had to sit through, I'm telling you, you had to sit through at least 20, at least 19 to 20, 21 minutes of nothing. Like for real, it's, you got bits of information about the country and uh, what's going on with Emilia and who these new people are that they're introducing, but you didn't care. Like I didn't care. So this episode mainly just like, I'm gonna have to give it the same thing I gave freaking My Hero Academia, a six, a six out of 10. It wasn't that good, it just sucked until the last little bit of the episode. Like, for real, man, that's all I can say about this joke. I ain't really got too much to say about that, uh, uh, except I really wanna know what's going on with the whole entire uh, thing of him resetting if he gets hurt. Like, what is that about, man? But yeah, that's all I got for this video, man. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say, like this video, share this on all social media platforms and comment down below and let me know what you think about what I said about the last 30 seconds towards minute to 30 seconds of this episode and jump. And what you think is actually happening. What's your theories and stuff on it and stuff, man. But yeah, that's that's all I got, man. And always subscribe, support the channel. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, subscribe so you can get new videos when I put out. I put out new videos uh, on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays mainly but sometimes I do put out videos Mondays Wednesdays Fridays but really I don't because that's my work so just mainly subscribe to stay up to date with my videos when you want to know when I come out with a new video and all of that and all of that man but uh, that's all I got for this review man thanks for watching I'm Danny awesome you're awesome stay awesome I love your faces peace one love I'm out that's a closet <laughs>